Hi and welcome to this brand new Wi-Fi hacking series from 101hacker.com. I'm John. From today onwards, we'll be posting a series of video tutorials related to wireless hacking. So this is the part one of this video series, which is about introduction and the requirements. So what to expect in this video series? So in this video series, we will be starting from the absolute basics. We'll go and uh, explain the basics of WLAN connection communication. We'll talk about the WLAN vulnerabilities. Then we'll show you how to go and exploit these vulnerabilities. Then we will also be doing some cracking, um, which is like we'll do web cracking, WPA, WPA2 personal and enterprise cracking. Then we will also do some real world attacks like the man in the middle attacks, spoofing attacks. Um, then we'll show you how to go and set up honeypots, how to do DDoS attacks and stuff like that. We'll be also doing APLS hacking. Finally, we will be doing some board driving. Then we'll also show you how to use third party devices for Wi Fi pen testing, such as uh, how to use an Android phone to do wireless hacking and pen testing. So in this slide I've just mentioned the major topics so we'll also be uh, so there are a lot of uh, I'm going to add a lot of videos uh, to this wireless hacking so I hope you will all li like this video series so before getting started let's have a look at the requirements so let's have a look at the software requirements first so to get started you need a pen testing distribution like Kali or Backtrack or you can just uh, install aircrack ng suite of tools in your linux box so if you're new to linux i would go and suggest you to go and download kali uh, because uh, the pen testing distribution all the tools and scripts are pre-installed and uh, so you need not download i mean you need not install them uh, and installing these tools can be uh, a little difficult for new buy so if you're new by, I would suggest you to go and download Kali from Kali.org. So you just go to this website and you go to the download section. You can just go and download the one that suits your needs. You can just go and download the Kali Linux 64-bit operating system or the Kali Linux 32-bit operating system. So uh, and you can just go and install that on your laptop or your Windows, I mean on your laptop or your desktop machine. So if you're on Windows, what you can do is you can just go and dual boot uh, the distress mentioned above or you can just go and uh, install Kali on a VirtualBox or VMware. Uh, VirtualBox or VMware is basically a virtualization software which will allow you to uh, install, I mean, run multiple operating systems on your host machine. So, my host is a uh, machine is um, Ubuntu 64 bit machine. So, this is the Oracle virtual box. So, I've installed three operating systems in it Kali, Ubuntu, Biata. So, uh, you can just go and uh, download virtual box. VirtualBox is cross-platform, which means it's supported on Windows, Mac, and also on uh, Linux. So I'm not going to show you how to go and install Kali on your VirtualBox because uh, there are a lot of tutorials on how to do that. Uh, and you can just go and check out YouTube, or you can even check out the Kali.org documentation page where they were given a detailed tutorial on how to go and install Kali on virtual box so you can check that one out so now let's look at the hardware requirements so you need a wireless card with packet injecting capabilities so this is the uh, most important requesty so the ones that I mean the wi wireless card I mean wireless cards and chips that are present in your laptop will not be supporting packet injecting in most cases I'll show you how to go and check that uh, in my next video so I've listed some of the best cards that are used for wireless hacking the alpha cards are the most um, used ones there are two options that you can go with that's the alpha A 
WS036H which uses a Realtek chipset 8187 uh, this supports B and G band so this is the most used card for wireless hacky and it's very stable it's been for around 3-4 to four years as far as I know so and the latest one is the NH8 the Alpha NH8 which uh, has a chipset uh, Atheros chipset AR9271 this supports all the three bands B, G and N so this is the latest one out there uh, you can also have a look at the TP-Link wireless card uh, there are two options both have the same chipset AR9271 this is the same chipset that the Alpha card uses uh, this also supports all the three bands um, so if you are in India, I would suggest you to go and buy the TP-Link because um, it's very cheap when compared to the Alpha card as well as it's easily available in the Indian market uh, and the Alpha cards are not available in India and you need to buy from eBay and this could cost you around 3000 plus bucks and the TP-Link just cost you around 800 rupees so my suggestion if you are in India, you can just go and buy the TP-Link you can also have a look at this Raymond um, blog post is just given I mean it's just compare the various uh, wireless cards and uh, how they perform in the various situations so I suggest you to have a look at this blog post before you go and buy a wireless card so I've just taken a screenshot from his blog uh, to give you an idea how how these cards look like so the one in the extreme right is the latest alpha AW S036 NHA it supports the BGN bands and it has an Atheros chipset. So the next one is the this one is the Alpha AW uh, S036H, which has the RTL8187 chipset. So this is the most used one for wireless tracking. It's pretty stable, and the one in the center is the TP links. WN722N which has an Atheros chipset and then also supports the VPN. So you can just go and have his uh, have a look at his blog more uh, details. So then you'll need an access point uh, supports all the authorization uh, I mean authentication types like the open chat web WPA, WP approved personal device and also the WPS which is uh, Wi-Fi protected setup so if you are using an you know, older router it will be going and supporting open shared web wp and wp2 not the enterprise and wps so you can just check out that i'll show you how to go and check out um, the router in a second so, <coughs> So then you need a second laptop or a smartphone or a tablet to use as a client. So this will be the victim uh, that will be connecting to the access point. And then we will go and attack with our fantastic uh, distro which is installed on our laptop or our desktop. So then you will then also buy the Wi-Fi pineapple which is uh, used by the hack Fighty. This is basically a honeypot uh, that is used to do all kinds of man in the middle attacks, spoofing and other such interesting attacks. The best part about this is all uh, is in graphical user interface and so you can do uh, your hacking with ease and you can just set this up in just a matter of minutes and you can start attacking uh, many clients. I'll be doing video tutorials on this also. You can check out um, wifipineapple.com for more info. So as I said, Wi-Fi Pineapple just optional, you know, all those stuff in with your card itself. So this is my lab setup for this video series. I'll be using Kali, which will be running in a virtual box. And also I'll be using Kali, which is also installed on my laptop. I'll be using the two machines. I'll be using a Linksys WRTN 120N as, as my access point, which supports all types of authorization. So I'll just show you that. Yeah. So this is my wireless um, router. It supports all the security modes: web, WPA personal, WPA personal, WPA enterprise, WPA two enterprise radius. And if you disable it, it's basically an 
open access point so suppose all security modes and if you go to the wireless settings uh, you can see the network mode and uh, supports the wireless G band B and uh, all the three bands it also supports the Wi-Fi protected setup which is basically the WPS uh, stuff so if you have this you can try out the uh, lever attacks so if you have the money you can just buy a uh, router this router or you can buy any router that supports all these modes So I'll be using a laptop, laptop or an Android phone as the client. Uh, most cases, the victim. Uh, I have a wireless card Alpha AWU S zero three six H, which supports the PG band. I'll be using this card for most of my tutorials. I've also ordered the TPWN seven twenty two N, so it should be arriving in two days time. So I'll be doing a review on that, and I'll also be using this card uh, from my next video onwards. Hopefully, if it arrives in base time, and I'll be using the Wi Fi Pineapple Mark 4 to do all my Wi Fi Pineapple tutorials. Um, they have really the hacker team has released the Mark 5, I think, it back five uh, days back, you know, October 13 or something like that. Um, only difference is that uh, it has two chipsets, RTL 8.87, it's been added to it, and it also has expansion slots like the SD card, stuff like that. Uh, whereas the Mark 4 doesn't have that, but you can still do all kinds of attacks with this. So I'll be using Mark 4 as of now for all my Wi-Fi Wi-Fi pen Pineapple tutorials. I hope uh, you will all like this video series uh, from 11hacker.com. So that comes to the end of the part one. Uh, if you have any queries, doubts, or feedback, kindly drop us a mail at john at 11hacker.com. Thank you for watching.